If she really did nothing wrong and wants to tell the full truth, she doesn't need immunity. Let me make clear that I am not defending the actions of Lois Lerner, but rather the protections guaranteed by the Constitution to every American. I do not want to go back to the shameful era which Congress tried to strip away the constitutional rights of American citizens and the right lights of hearings that had nothing to do with the responsible oversight and everything to do with worse, the worst kind of partisan politics. The investigation of the Justice Department is a complete joke. The FBI, on January 13th this year, the FBI leaks to the Wall Street Journal, no one's going to be referred for prosecution. The President on Super Bowl Sunday said there's no corruption, not even a smidgen. The person heading the investigation, Barbara Bosserman, gave $6,750 to the President's campaign of the Democrat National Committee, a max out contributor to the President's campaign. And just this week, on Tuesday, in the Judiciary Committee, I asked Eric Holder, have you looked into the leak that the FBI gave to the Wall Street Journal? Have you investigated that? And his response? No, I haven't. If this committee was truly interested in examining allegations of undue influence from outside the IRS, there would be an offer of immunity on the table right now for Lois Lerner. She went bef before the Inspector General report was released uh, in May, and it was released uh, May 14th. On May 10th, she did her Broadway production. It was worthy of an Academy Award. This this contempt vote, if it goes down and it passes, this will be laughed out of court. I oftentimes wonder if we weren't on a 24-hour news cycle whether we would conduct our business differently. This is a spectacle that's been orchestrated to obscure facts that aren't partisan and won't put political points on the scoreboard. The average American person does not understand why we could not have all of Lois Lerner's emails delivered to us in over a year's time. This type of reckless action has not been taken by Congress since the days of Senator McCarthy. I cannot support this effort to drag us into one of the darkest periods in the history of this institution. Mr. Chairman, I counted 17 separate factual assertions by Ms. Lerner, not those three little sentences that my colleagues like to cite, 17 separate factual assertions. That is a lot of talking for somebody who wants to remain silent. If you honestly believe that you can make 17 separate factual assertions and still invoke your right to remain silent, then please tell me what waiver is. But because of the manner in which the investigation has been handled by our chairman, we can't get those facts. So if my colleagues want to hold someone in contempt, maybe they should look to the person holding the gavel. Since it's his poor handling of this investigation that has resulted in why we can't get the truth that the people deserve. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, no? No. Clearly, in the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The clerk will call the roll. On that vote, sir, there are 21 yeas, 12 nays. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Contempt report is ordered, reported to the House.